Oh, there we go. Oh, biggin, biggin. Oh my God. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Bass Fishing. Today, we've got something pretty cool, honestly. I went to Bass Pro over the weekend, and it was like, I just saw this and had to get it, and that would be a 16 inch Coach Whip Cream Worm. 16 inch plastic worm, like, that's a thing? Like, 16 inches, like, hold up. Like, literally look at, look at, look at this thing. It's like, literally my whole like forearm. Like, what is this? Like a fish, really? We'll eat that? So, I saw those, they're like $2 a worm. The package was like eight bucks for like four of them. Hey! And I just had to cop that so we could make a cool video. So we're gonna Texas rig this puppy up. This snake here and we're gonna try to catch some fish so give me a second <laughs> all right after about four years of getting rigged up we've got our deal Texas rigged, nice and pegged. Giant snake on the line and we're gonna go try to catch a fish with it, so catch you in a minute. Oh, feels good to be back fishing. Missouri weather has been absolute garbo the last, I don't know, two weeks. Like, the wind's been blowing 500 miles an hour. We're getting rain, snow, whatever it is. So it feels good to be out fishing with no wind and just have an actual nice day out. So we've got about an hour and a half of, of uh, daylight. So hopefully we can catch something on this ginormous freaking worm here. Like just well, another comparison, just like what? Why, like why is this even, I don't know. But hopefully she gets the job done, so first cast oh my gosh I don't even know things just heavy it's literally just like a giant grass worm <laughs> insane it's just huge and honestly I need to adjust my reel here If we catch one on this thing, I'm going to be mind blown. Like it's it's gotta it's gotta be like a 14 pound bass. It's just so big. That I just don't see a small bass being able to eat this. Like I don't even know how to work this thing. Like do I just like any other Texas rig. Like just let it drop. And, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. God, the thing literally looks like a snake flying through the air. Like, the heck. God. I just don't think any of these fish in here, other than the tanks, could take a worm like this, so. It's gonna be so hard to catch a fish. Well, you know what? I spent $8 on four freaking plastic worms. I better catch a fish. And it better be a giant. All right. We're going to go try the other side. Maybe there's some bigger fish over there. I don't know. But 
We'll figure something out. I don't know. For some reason, I had a feeling this spot looked real juicy, so I gotta give her an old dangle. Maybe there's a big one sitting here for some reason. You never know. Oh! Dude, I just got smoked. What? Literally, this thing just got smoked. Right up under this freaking tree. Literally had a huge hit. No way! Dude, a fish literally just came up and tried to eat it as I was swimming it back. What the heck? Oh my god. It wasn't even that big, but he still came up and tried to chomp on it. Maybe I just need to be casting and reeling this thing in. Oh. Oh, he had it. He had it for a second there. This little fish is trying to eat this freaking worm. Like, he can't be bigger than 10 inches. Oh, no way. Oh, my God, we had one. Dude, he was literally taking off with it. Oh, my God. He just had the tail end of it. What the heck? Literally was taking off with it. Just on the drop. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. What? It's literally just grabbing the tail like it's gotta be little. Literally felt him on the end. What the heck?
Let's go and try and take it. Oh my god. Literally let him try to take it for like freaking 10 minutes. Oh my god. About ate it. Okay, well, the GoPro died. We weren't catching anything on that freaking Mondo worm. So, it's about to get dark, so I went ahead and threw on a Whopper Plopper just to see if we can't get ourselves a fish, because I'd hate to close out a video without a fish, and I don't know, top water looks good. Biggin, biggin, oh my god, that's a good one, that's a good one, holy cow, stay on, holy cow, that's a good one, good one, the whopper popper, holy cow, come on, oh, he sideswiped, he just felt like he was good, oh my god, hey buddy, well, you tried to blow up on it. I'm not even mad, bro. Like, thanks for attempting to bite. I, I'm glad I caught a fish this video. Pretty big blow up for a little fish, but I appreciate you a ton, so I'll see you later. I will name you Fred. See you later. Okay, not gonna lie. Honestly, thought that was like a three pounder just from how heavy he strike my freaking whopper plopper and I <laughs> I had him hooked in the back so it just felt like he was a lot bigger than he was but you know what we caught a freaking fish this video I'm not even mad I'm not mad the 16 inch worm failed me but the old whopper plopper didn't and it's nice to know that they're freaking they're gonna it's nice to know that they're gonna eat on top so it's actually really good news for me and I'll explain a little more about it later and why I'm excited for that so let's try to catch a couple more plopper fish maybe a tank or two and we'll head back to the house and show you guys some cool stuff hey we're back at the house now oh, come here come here <laughs> Look how fat my dog is. He's gotten real fat. But anyways, the fishing today on the 16 inch worm was absolute garbage. So we're gonna try it again another time, maybe in a pond that has bigger fish or I don't know. Either way, we're gonna try it again one day and my dog's shedding hair everywhere and all over me right now, but it's cool because we love him. He's a great dog. Ain't that right, Zeke? Ain't that right? But anyways, when I was referring to uh, like the top water bite and like some cool things I was getting and like gonna make videos over, this is what I was talking about. So, one sec. I got some uh, cool stuff from Cabela's Day. Really? Come here. Come here. Oh. Got some cool stuff from Cabela's other day and. I'm gonna go over them real quick because I'm gonna make some cool videos over these, I hope. But one, oh god. Well, one of the things I got, or two, I guess, technically. I got two, uh, sa oh my god. I got two Savage Gear ducks, or not ducks, bats. <laughs> like, they're just some, they were cool looking, like, topwater bait so I was like well I think it'd be cool to make a video on you know trying to get a fish to eat a bat off the top of the water so I got a white and a black one because they were like six bucks like six bucks each so I was like you know what well, why not this is one of the coolest things I think I've gotten but it's a uh, savage gear suicide duck and it's literally a freaking like little duckling like how cool is that? Like, could you imagine a freaking fish eating a duck off the top of the water? Like, that is beyond sick. Then I got a, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, a live target bluegill, which got grass on it somehow. But yeah, it's, it's pretty good looking bluegill, so I'll probably make a video over that too. 
probably do like a cheap versus expensive, like buy an expensive bluegill or a cheaper one and compare the two. Then I got a new glide bait, like I never owned anything like, like stuff like this and I was like, you know, full send, gotta find some video ideas so I got a glide bait too. Not really sure what it's called or what the name of it or brand of it is, but yeah, I got it, so. That's what I wanna show you, so look, look forward to uh, some banger videos where maybe we actually catch a fish on something cool like that, like a duck or bat. And, well, that's about it. Other than the whopper plopper fish, that's, we didn't catch anything today, so. So I hope you guys somehow, you know, somehow just enjoyed today's video even though it was just basically trash but you know I needed to film and it was good to be back out there filming with the camera on and I do a lot of fishing without the camera and of course I catch fish then so it is what it is but before we go make sure you check out these new shirts that I came out with hey oh hey there's Steven he was dancing trying to make me laugh or whatever but I came out with some new merch and I will put a picture of it right here. So if you guys are interested in that, DM me on Instagram or Twitter or whatever. I'll put my socials down below. So DM me, message me, whatever, and let me know if you would like to cop one of them because they're pretty sick. It's the first shirt we're gonna make with the new hook series that I came up with. So yeah, make sure you cop one of those because one, it helps me and two, it's awesome to see you guys wrapping my merch. So that's about it. Um, I wish Zeke would come over and punch this out and Steven's filming me, so hey Steven. But that's it, end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button and hit the little notification bell so you don't miss an upload. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.